that Sarawak is one of the state that can show and lead by example. Why? Because you have a leader who are strong in principle, who are not double-faced. Why do I say this? Because this is what we need to move forward, brother and sister. There is a lot of challenges that we face today. What do we face today? The challenges that we face today is that when we are talking to one another, when we are face to face to one another, we say all the good things. But when we go back to our mosque, when we go back to our church, we go back to our synagogue, we go back to our temple, and we preach hatred. But no, I can see right here in front of me someone that I admire, which is your chief minister. Because he has the guts and he has the courage. And brothers and sisters, courage is not the absence of fear. Courage is to speak out, is to do what is right despite the existence of fear. Because that is the right thing to do. You have to be honest. The problem is, the challenge that we face today is that we are being double-faced. When we meet one another, we say good things. But when we go back to our community, we preach hatred. That is not supposed to do. If you dislike someone, just tell them up front. Don't have to say something else and be hypocritical. But what Dato have done is that something that I truly admire and this is what we want to happen around the world, not only in Sarawak, but we hope Sarawak can lead by example, which is if I don't like someone, just tell them, I don't like it. I tell you up front, rather than I tell you right in front, yeah, 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 no problem, everything is okay. But back then, you say all the bad things about people. Then how can we create a harmonious society? So brother and sister, the closing remark is that this is my favorite closing remark. The same closing remark that I gave to 45 students from the University of Agda three weeks ago when they came to Malaysia and I presented to them and I say, brother and sister, the solutions and the takeaway is that stop talking about one another and let's start talk to one another and let's start engage and communicate truthfully to one another.